and welcome to our latest video. My name's Faye. I'm Simon. And together we are married to reselling. We are full-time resellers selling on Amazon, eBay, Etsy, Vinted Depop, the usual. And uh, we are going to pick some stock. We have some out already because we hadn't put them away yet. So shall I run through these? Uh, yeah. Or you can hold them uh, up. So this is an Onyx uh, workwear. I think we said NYX, uh, possibly if we did say the brand. This is from the uh, British Used Clothing bundle that we bought, uh, our last video. Yeah, it cost... No, I don't know, I think it'd be up there. I'll put the video up there. <laughs> Uh, they sold for eighteen ninety nine. They cost three pound thirty three. So really pleased with those. Then we've got this All Saint no Joe Brown's top. Uh, that was also from the British Used Clothing um, bundle that we bought. That sold for twenty pounds. Cost three pound thirty three. And that got a serious amount of watches in a very short amount of time. It must have sold in maybe twenty four hours, and it had fourteen watches when it sold. Another British Used Clothing item is this Lipsy dress that was uh, £3.33 as well and that one sold for £19.99 and another British used clothing item see I told you they were good so <laughs> have a look for yourself uh, we'll put the website at the bottom we'll put the, the link to the website in the description it's uh, as we mentioned as Faye mentioned at the end of the video um, the website changed a bit and they've got some other sort of cool stuff which we're definitely looking into. Uh, so this is a TU vest top that sold for 12 99 that cost £3.33. Then we had an All Saints um, Riviera shirt, men's, that sold on Vinted, that cost £5, I sold it for 10 there's no fees on Vinted, the customer pays postage, so really pleased with that one. And then this was a charity shop pickup. This is a Callaway golf top, extra large, cost four ninety nine, sold for twenty two pounds. Had a lot of interest in that actually. And we'll run through these, and then we'll pick some stuff out of the tubs. Yeah. So we've got E T. I'm so glad this is sold. <laughs> we had so much interest in this, haven't we, we? Yeah, we get so many offers um, almost daily, and I've been dropping and dropping the price. Um, it's vinyl. It's the sound. It's like the narration by Michael Jackson, Story of E.T. That's pretty rare. Uh, it's hard to find in good condition. This is in okay condition, uh, but most of them you see are pretty tattered or missing the posters. There's posters in here, tattered. the storybook. Did I say tattered? Yeah, I think so. Is that not a word? I don't know. Yeah, tattered's a word, <laughs> uh, I think. So possibly, let us know in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that cost, was it 14 99 sold for 40 well done. Thank you. This was uh, a pickup from a long time ago from a charity shop. Uh, it's actually ended up selling on Amazon. I think I paid six ninety nine for it. I was quite excited at the time. I probably listed it for hundred quid. Um, but it's the OC um, complete series. So it's one to four, and it's Ooh. oh, there goes a disc. I'm not even holding it upside down, so I'm not quite sure how that's happened. But um, it's got all the like story and stuff, or whatever I don't know, pictures and. I what loved have you. it. That was one of my favourite shows ever. Oh, it's a bonus, bonus complete feature. fourth. So complete fourth season. There it is. There's the hole. How that's managed to come out of there, oh, although I have moved it around quite a bit, <laughs> it's taken a while to sell. I think it sold for £19 on Amazon. <laughs> it, every time I touch it, it comes sliding out, and that's why. Um, this I picked up at a garden sale trail. I'm not sure the vi I don't think the video for this one is has come out yet. We have filmed it, it's edited and ready to go. Uh, it's a freestyle 80 BT cordless phone cost me two pounds and it sold for Was it 50 something 51.99 yeah i was pleased with that we did have a question actually from a guy who was trying to find a free lance 60 or something and he wrote us a big long essay about how we, if we could keep our eye out for it um and then an hour later he sent almost the same message but a bit different and i replied and said 
yeah, we'll keep our eye out for it. Just follow our shop. I mean, we're never going to come across it, but... And then I got a message, how do I follow your shop? And then three quarters of an hour later, how do I follow your shop? And a puzzle brand new and sealed. I think we had higher hopes for this when we bought it. I think it cost 5 99 Yeah, it cost 7 50 Only sold for 12 99 plus, plus post. Oh, plus post. So it sold for 13 plus It sold for 19 98 and cost us 7 50 So not the best, um, obviously. Yeah, it is a sealed puzzle. It's three times 1,000 pieces. We've had it for a while, so it's not like we just priced it too low. We've been slowly dropping the price, uh, and finally it went. Yes. Okay, so what else have we got? We need to pick an egg cup. It's the Vintage Kiel uh, Scent Street or Scent Pottery Society. Got a green fly on me. Um, <laughs> cricket. It's like a cricket city themed little tiny egg cup. Okay. Um, not in a box. Is it this? Sooty egg cup. Yeah. Woo then I we've... thought it was going to take ages to find that. Yeah. <laughs> then we've got a waterproof rucksack cover. Ooh. Oh, so the egg cup was in your one of those auction bundles that you picked up um, by mistake, I think. It was in there. Oh, it was okay. in an old video. Uh, that we've done and these what did you say what it cost and sold for oh it cost like a pound sold for 7.99 in Oof. the end uh this cost 77p and sold for is it 10.99 it's cost 79p actually oh. and sold for 10.99 yeah that's a double rucksack cover well done a top in palette 11 palette 11 uh, uh, uh. Oh, I thought I had it then. Oh, there it is. It's a floral print, this one, I think. JD Williams capsule floral print, size 20. That was from one of the palettes we got from auction. That cost 196 sold for 9.49. And then we have some Hornsey cups and saucers. Ooh, those are over here. Now this one. Ooh. Handily already packed up because someone bought it, put their address wrong, UPS would try to trace them. Basically, it came back in the end as return to shipper, reason for return, receiver moved. Um, so, when that happens with UPS, you pay the return charge, which is pretty much the same as the outgoing charge, and obviously, your outgoing postage, and obviously, your outgoing postage is getting refunded. Um, so that's been fully refunded to the customer that didn't receive it. And then I just listed it high and said to Faye, I'm not dropping the price. I'm adding postage to it as well because I want to recoup. Um, so I think this sold for a bit more than the other ones had. Yeah, 19.99 plus post. Plus, what's that? Seven quid post, isn't it? Six quid. Six pound post, yeah. So did a bit. So we recouped some of our losses on that and still made a profit. I'm going to, because it's been all round the houses, I am going to open take it out of this out out of bag open up the box inside doesn't sound like there's any issues with it but it has been out for about two weeks uh in a ups van and depot so i will be checking uh putting my putting my hands in there and just checking that it's all okay yeah we sold two job lots like bundles of clothing to the same person so number 27 and 28 so all of this i'll pop the pictures up um, we don't send it in these bags. I might well actually use this bag, uh, but not this one. And they'll go together because the same person, they'll go UPS. How much did that lot sell for? 45 plus post okay, total, cool. so that's good. And that's pallet bundles, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and the cost to us was zero because we apply the cost to individually listed items. Anything left over that we put in bundles, we often do a zero. Yeah. And then we sold another bundle, this one. It's just a cheapy. It cost um, nothing. Sold for seven pound plus parcel post, which was six ninety five. Um, we just store them in these bags, and I just put a label <laughs> on them, and then they go in the tub. That's what I was going to say. I knew there was something. I wanted oh. to say. <laughs> we sold a couple on Etsy. We sold something, two things. I've shown you one thing that sold on Vinted, which was the All Saints shirt. But we've also sold something out of palette number 10. Palette 10. 
worth nine and ten, I think. It's orange. Oh. You can't miss it. It's orange. Uh, if there's two orange things in here. I can see it. Hold on. I mean, all I can see is red. Dash mesh. Oh, it is red. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just. Dash mesh 90, full length, UK 16 to 18. There we go. That costs 196 and sold for 899. But again, the there's no fees on vintage and the buyer pays postage. So that's great. We then sold on um, Etsy a teapot. Oh, yeah. The midwinter teapot. That cost $6.99, sold for 20 And then we also sold the Mr. Ali Sloper doorstop. Ooh. This was £10 and sold for 30 I had these a while, haven't we? Yeah. About time. We've got something similar, haven't we, as well? Oh, yeah. here we go. It's very heavy. Ooh. Now, is it the, the flat? One. No, that's an ornament. It's the flat back one that's a doorstop. There we go. There he is. Apparently an old comedian or something. Stay tuned for the usual messages. Uh, a bit of palette update. Done a bit of a British used clothing update, um, but we might talk about that a little bit more later in the video. We've also got other what solds and a haul and we're also going to be putting away some stock. And we're going to talk about our top nine top watch items. So previous two videos, two weekly videos, we have asked you to guess which of our top nine top watched items mm -hmm. will sell first. And this week, none of them sold. <laughs> Thanks everyone for commenting and taking your guesses. Um, I think a lot of people thought the ASOS sort of trouser top yeah. uh, would go and also there was a few takers for the old Topton wear jug uh, but nothing sold so a lot of these ones this week are the same and hoping this is just a glitch in the matrix and this isn't going to be happening every week or else we're going to have to think of something else to uh, to talk to you about <laughs> what's interesting though is things have sold really quickly in the last week so to like things probably have moved around and there were some other ones in there because there was a joe brown's top that got loads of watches and then sold really quickly yeah in the, in earlier in this video yeah that one was in the top watch but yeah it went really quick like Flo said that's a really good point so it kind of depends when we catch it i'll start us off with the latest top nine top watched items and it was there last week and it's still there and it's the disney princess hanging decoration baubles listed since december 21 views 829 watches nine and only 19 pounds 99 now maybe you know if we drop that to 14.99 or whatever they'll go straight away but this is a christmas product they're lovely i i honestly actually think the photos don't do them justice because it is very difficult to take a good picture of something clear so we're all here now uh, because Snoopy was whining and we couldn't make the video whilst it's like that, so we think he wanted some attention. Let's move on to number two. Number two is the Disney Christmas jumper, and that's been listed since October. It's had 1,423 views and currently has eight watches, and it's up for sale for just 11.99. Third one on the list is the Shein skater dress. Still uh, was listed in March 22, 261 views, seven watches, six, six watches, and listed at 9.49. I'm gonna get these sold this week. Ooh. I'm on a mission. <laughs> Next up, we have the OMAC Quartz Digital Watch, listed since November, 802 views, six watches, currently for sale at 16.99. The next one on the list is the Monster High Dolls at number five, uh, listed since November 21. 485 views, six watches, £12.49. Number six is the Warehouse Green Dress, listed since March. It's had 368 views, it's got five watches, and it's only £13.99, people. Come on, it's brand new with tags. 
Number seven is the vintage CLP kitchen storage jars. So they're like the old red and white jars. They've been listed since February 22, 570 views, five watches, and 36.99 plus post. Number eight is the old tops and wear jug, which a lot of you thought was gonna sell in this last week. Uh, it's been listed since April. It's had 115 views, it's got five watches, and it's currently for sale at 26.99. And number nine, it's a new one. It's a vintage Port Marion chicken hen egg holdery thing. I didn't realise that was Port Marion. That one is, yeah. Nice. Uh, listed since May 22, so very, very recent. Uh, 76 views, four watches, and listed for 24.49. So hit the comments up. One to nine, which is going to sell first? I've got a good feeling this week that everything's going to change. Uh, so uh, please help us out. Uh, give us some good positive vibes and, uh, and hit one to nine in the comments now as to which one is going to sell first. Is Snoopy whispering to you which Snoopy, one he thinks? Yeah, he thinks number seven. Coming up, we've got messages. We've got the second palette update. We've got a haul for you. And also other things that have sold this week. But first, it's palette update. So we're plodding away. We are trying to see if we can sell everything, how long it will go until we start bundling stuff up. We've now sold 302 items out of the 380. Uh, look at that, we're only two items off the five to 9.99 price bracket. Ooh. Uh, total turnover now is 5,000 and 25 pounds. And of course, there's lots of fees to come out of that, which leaves us with 1,818 pounds and 98 pence profit. Uh, and those profit figures take into account the total cost of the stock. So in effect, after postage and fees, anything else that sells, that money goes into that profit figure because the 1818.98 includes the total purchase of £1,043 of all the clothes. Mm -hmm. That was a good one, wasn't it? It's message time. We've had some messages over the past week um, from potential buyers, people that are interested in some of our products. And these are ones that make us laugh or make us sort of pull our hair out. And uh, they're just a selection for you just to provide some entertainment. And the first one, uh, it's on eBay and it says, could you please confirm if this has been dispatched? Many thanks. Interestingly, this person has 2012 feedbacks as a buyer and 21 feedbacks as a seller. So they know what they're doing uh, when it comes to eBay. We replied with, hi, the item was ordered on Friday evening at 8.30 p.m. I can confirm it hadn't been dispatched when your message was sent. Just after 10 p.m. on Sunday evening. Many thanks. Mind boggling, really. That is, that was a chef's top like a uniform sort of top yeah. for a professional kitchen and they got it and then said it was too big could they have the next size down we don't offer that service with no. that item and they never they asked haven't. for a refund or anything they haven't opened a return no moving on to the next one speaking of people potentially asking for a refund Ooh, so we sold a three thousand piece uh ravensburger jigsaw puzzle brand new and sealed and we received this message. Hi, the jigsaw I ordered at the water hole is not in the box. It seemed to be a picture of an aquarium. So that was a bit strange. So I asked if they could send a picture of what they've got. Because it's a brand new and sealed puzzle. Yes. So they sent the picture. Uh, there it is. And they said, I think we'd be able to see that. Uh, and yes, the box was sealed. So they've sent a picture of a jigsaw that they've started. Um, and I asked them, I, so I said, thanks for the pick. Uh, and then I just sort of said, do you want to pack it away now and send it back or do you want to keep it? At the end of the day, it's a 3000 piece puzzle. It's fine if I want to pack it away, and send it back at that stage. Um, and then they asked if we had the watering hole 3000 piece puzzle, puzzle uh, the one that was on the order. Of course, I'm skeptical. Uh, I replied that, well, I thought I did. I thought I had that puzzle, but it turns out it's a picture of an aquarium. Um, and then they replied again, have you got the water hole 3000 or are you getting some more in? Oh, we're not getting any more in. Okay, I'm going to return it. What's the procedure and the refund? I mean, obviously at this stage, you know, it could be some sort of manufacturing issue. Um, that's fine. You know, we'll, we'll pay for the return, all that sort of stuff. 
I just told them to go and select return, they'll get a prepaid label, uh, and we'll investigate how it happens, which obviously we've got no idea. And then they opened the return, um, but they didn't send it, didn't hear anything of them. And then we just got a message through saying that they're gonna put it in the bin and they won't be sending it back. So there we go. Who in their right mind, who likes doing jigsaw puzzles and a 3000 piece one as well, is gonna put it in the bin because they don't wanna do it because it's not the picture that they wanted. A puzzler would just still do the puzzle anyway and send it back or just send it back. Like, it's, mm. no one would put it in the bin. So that was all a bit weird. No, I mean, that is the exact reason that we insist on returns. We won't just refund people or even partially refund people. Um, because that to me looks very suspicious. It's a bit dodge. <laughs> yeah. Uh, stay tuned for a haul and also what's sold. Uh, but first, palette update two. This was uh, one palette that we purchased and we had a target of 112 items to sell. Um, and so far we have sold 59 of them. So that's 53% of our target with an approximate um, amount of £951. So taking into account the cost of the palette and all the fees that are involved in selling the items, we have a profit so far of approximately £225.68p, which is, is profit, mm. but it's not as good as the last three that we bought. Would you like to tell them about the haul? Yeah, the, it's, it's a few little trips here and there. Uh, recently we went to South London. South London. Uh, we saw uh, Peter, Sales of the Unexpected, and we went to his charity shops. So we'll show you what we got there, four charity shops. Uh, and then also we got a few other bits and bobs from round and about over the last week that we've gathered up like little squirrels. We'll start with what we got from South London. Four charity shop visits, four DVDs and a jigsaw. The charity shops down there are not good. I mean, obviously every charity shop can have its day. Yeah. Um, but not the day we went. You were really disappointed because you wanted to, because you know that Peter says they're rubbish. So after we saw Peter, he told us where to, what street to go down. We went down there and you're like, yeah, we're gonna find stuff and it was, we spent longer in the post office there queuing up to post our parcels than we did in the four charity shops. I'm gonna scan, we've got DVDs, we've got books, we've got games, we've got bric-a-brac and clothing. I'm gonna scan the stuff that's going into Amazon, into the Amazon seller apps, free app. If you've got the seller account, just get the seller app. That tells us current for sale prices. Doesn't mean to say that that's what it's gonna sell for, but that is current, showing us current prices. Uh, so we've got this DVD, The Taking of Pelham 123. Uh, so we paid a pound for that. It's currently for sale on Amazon New at um, £7.21. But it's good rank. My Fair Lady, that was a pound. Currently selling on Amazon at £8.59. An American in Paris. 8 31 but there are none in FBA, so we can go a bit higher. And The Cobbler. For sale at 8 98 and then I've got this uh, 500 piece Ravensburger puzzle, which I'm pretty sure is out of stock. The Cottage Garden. No, it's available for £26.99 now. Oh, used or new? New. New, okay, this is used, so you might get 18 to 20 maybe for that. How much do we pay? Uh, pound. Mm. 99p. Four DVDs. Got these two on the way back on that trip. So this was the big. Um, what do we call it, like a superstore charity shop, Cancer Research, which was in our last weekly video. Uh, paid £2. Currently for sale at £35.90. <clears throat> and Dirty Sanchez, Jobs for the Boyos, which I paid, there's no price on pound, that. Pound, because it was five for a pound. Oh yeah, five for a pound. Or if you just got one, it was a pound. Yeah, and I, yeah, so I said to her, you might as well just price them at um, 20p each, you'll probably sell more. And then Faye said, you don't have as many DVDs as usual. And she said, yeah, because we've been clearing them out. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, currently for sale on you at 15 pounds, but none in FBA. Uh, more DVDs, not many. So I'll rattle through these, because I know not everyone is interested in DVDs. Um, but don't forget, brand new and sealed DVDs can do well on eBay. We do sell well on eBay also, because we cross-list everything from Amazon to eBay. 
Uh, what's that? Porterhouse Blue. That was one ninety nine. Currently for sale at seven ninety nine, but they're not in FBA. Sarah Jane Adventures. The Sarah Jane Adventures paid three ninety nine. These are all brand new and sealed. Forty three pound ninety eight. Not in FBA. Ooh. Boom. This is a girls' night in box set. Made in Manhattan, 13 going on 30 and 51st dates. I've only seen 51st dates out of all of that. 249 brand new and sealed. 925 new, but none in FBA on that one either. Now this one was a bit um, kind of battered. It's, it's, it's sealed, but I wouldn't sell that as like brand new and sealed. Uh, so we used either or used like new or whatever. I uh, paid four pounds. It's Liverpool matches, classic Liverpool matches. A shot through history. Currently for sale on Amazon for one hundred and ninety-one pounds and ninety-four p new, nine in FBA. And that's why I picked it up because obviously no one's buying that for one hundred ninety-one pounds or anywhere near it. But you know, to be able to go twenty quid, fifteen quid, even uh, push, I'll start a bit higher. Um, but yeah, uh, Shameless Series Ten, three disc set. Currently only for sale used at £25.15. I paid £1.50 for that. And also Shameless Series 11 paid £2. Did I pick these ones up? No, you didn't. Did I, I not? Yeah. Oh, and this is currently for sale used only at £18.91. Now the thing is about those is obviously you'll be able to get the box set, the complete box set readily, um, probably for cheaper than all of those prices. Um, but the product has rank, has reviews. Uh, so they may well sell at a decent price. I they sell like for a tenner, it doesn't matter. Uh, this is the Noel Coward collection. It's used and I paid £3.50. And that's for sale, used £12.18, none in FBA. Oh, and another shameless £1.50 Series 9. And that is also only available used for £26.75. And in that charity shop, I got a few games from her as well. Uh, as I was paying, she was like, oh, it's you. Um, you left this last time you were in, and it was about two weeks, wasn't it, or 10 days? Yeah, it's over a week, over um, two weekends, I'm pretty sure. And she said, because she didn't know our names, even though you speak to her quite a lot, um, she said she chased us in the car park, calling for the chicken people, because <laughs> uh, we left that behind, but we didn't hear her, and she obviously drove off, I guess, and she kept it. Bless her. Bless her, because she knows that I've got real sort of regret over a vase that they had for sale over two years ago now, and I and I we still discuss it. Me and her. I said, "Oh, do you want a bag?" And I was like, "No, nah, it's alright. I've got a bag. It's fine. I'll just throw it in there." And she was like, "I've looked after that for ten days. I'm gonna." So she wrapped it up um, in bubble wrap for me. Um, She's so nice. I obviously, isn't she? Yeah, obviously, like made her feel a bit uneasy that she'd looked after it for so long and I was going to end up breaking it in the car park. Uh, what's this all about then? Oh, I can't remember. It's a Callaway Golf uh, Top. Um, it was 4 Oh yes, I picked that up. Yeah, I, didn't, I definitely didn't pick it up. It's size XL. Uh, what's that material? Oh, not this again. <laughs> no, it's not that. It's like fleece inside, is it? Uh, 100% polyester, that's the one. It's not, that's not what I was thinking. <laughs> no, you're going for like the feel. Yeah, like um, it's almost got that um, micro fleece Microfiber, feeling that yeah. makes my hands go feel horrible. It's a really nice colour and the ca I did have a quick look in the shop. Callaway zip tops too good. Like I wouldn't have picked up a polo shirt or just a t-shirt, but that's, that's was the that cool zip. It, was yeah. it? Uh, I also picked this up for Amazon. This is uh, Morris and Cosa, William Morris, a hand care trilogy. I'll scan it, shall I? There's a barcode mm, there. Yeah, paid two ninety nine. Yeah, currently unavailable, new and used. You don't want to see it on my screen. One hundred and forty one thousand mm. in in beauty with reviews. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. The miniature schnauzer. This was one. 99. It's a book, but you've probably worked that out already. It used £8.45, but none available in FBA, and it's got, um, it's in actually listed in pet products, ranked 2,356, which oh. is quite good. Mm. Oh, yeah. Outstanding American Gardens. Uh, this was £3? Yeah, uh, yes. And it's used, 
not obviously I suppose, but it is used. So used from 1472, but it was more, so maybe once that one's yeah. gone, we can go a bit higher. New, it's 5153. Originally it was £30, the book, the price on the book. What else have we got? We've got 8 out of 10 cats. Uh, that was £3 from Apparently the big chasm. £22.99. I like this one. This could be my new favourite. This could be the, the new five second roll. Uh, £3.50 for hearing things. 34 oh no, uh, 18 And... Another little Ravensburger, 500. Well, let me see the picture. Three pounds, it's nice. Oh yeah, little beach hat. Along the, what do I call it? Esplanades. <laughs> Esplanade. Uh, that is currently out of stock, new and used. And Triple C 80s edition. Now this did get pulled off Amazon, um, but I think it's back. Five pounds I paid for that. Uh, 21 pound 52. Oh, that's, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, bounce off, jump on, rock and roll. Rolls? Rock and rolls? Okay, rock and rolls. This was 50p, let they very, very handily written it on the box. 24.99. We'll get that off, though. Um, trivial Pursuit, I had to do a picture scan on this. Classic edition. I'm not sure I've really come across this before. No. Two pounds, it does... Oh, I might have had to have done a word search. I oh, know there it is. Uh, £20 and 94p, really good rank. Yeah. <laughs> Glee seen it, £2. We'd stop picking this up, but it's one of those ones that sort of come back. Because uh, everyone had it at one stage. You could get it new, really, really cheap, but um, I think it's worth it again now, hopefully. 11 99 mm. Not bad for two pounds, that's okay. And then this is a, a brand new and sealed Falcon Deluxe two by 1000 um, puzzle. And I paid four pounds. Uh, currently only available use at 29.57, but none in FBA. Uh, also, we have a couple more things that Faye's gonna show you. Yes, got some Denby. Just a pair of cups and saucers and um, paid, oh, I thought I paid three pounds, I didn't see that. Ooh, oh, I'm ooh. pretty sure I did pay three pounds. Oh, hang on, where did you get it from? Um, because it was on a bit of string tying these together and he snipped it off. Pretty oh, sure yeah. it was three pounds. They are Denby Coral, C-O-L-O-R-O-L-L. -L -L. Um, yeah. What are you going to sell for? Well, maybe for like 25 quid to start with, I can't remember, I did look it up in the shop. Yeah. Um, and also, I picked this up because it had bargeware vibes about it. I guess you just put a tea light in it or something. I don't know if the lid comes off. Yeah, a bit different. And we've done well with bargeware before. So it's hand painted, like the flowers. What was your favourite pickup? Uh, I'm getting into hearing things because I see that around a little bit, so I'm going to keep my eye out for that. I know it's popular whenever we get it. It sells quick. Um, I thought it was a little bit more when I scanned it, so possibly someone's jumped on. Uh, so hopefully it'll go up again. What's your favourite pickup? Oh, yeah. Alright, just going to put some newly listed stock away. So we keep the majority of our stock outdoors well not outdoors but yeah in the garden in the barn some stuff like books and anything sort of paper and things like that will keep inside yeah uh, so what have we got so we've got a big bag for life of new listed stuff oh. it's heavy so what i do is i fill it in inside when i'm listing and then when it's full we put it away so this is actually a return item so anything that's returned we deal with and then pack, put away um, I need to look at that one because that's a pallet item. Remember what tub that goes in. That is uh, 13. Pallet 13. Oh, here we go, look. I've been here for ages. Oh, there it is. Woohoo! Right. Homeware. Right, so these are duvet sets, pillow cases and stuff. Oh, spider's web. Oh. So, a quick question. So, 
the key the British used clothing bundle that I bought. Yes. Do we want to create a tub for that, or will it go dresses, tops? Yeah, keep it together with everything. Okay, so dress, dress, dress. <coughs> this is our last video, so the ghost dress. Oh, is this? Yeah, British used clothing. Yeah. Wallace, Dorothy Perkins, ASOS skater dress. Next. Next. Yeah. Then we've got bottoms. Bottoms. So that is skirts, shorts, and trousers and jeans. Yeah. Yeah. Then we've got tops. So at the moment we have tops, a tub A to L. And then oh, yeah. M to whatever. So G, G. M would be the second one. R, R N M I M T One. So we have kids still. The uh, kids box. Do. Kids clothes. And do we have nightwear, pajamas? No, not anymore. So we'll do tops. If you remember, yeah. Maybe just add to the skew Top. in tops. Okay. Uh, cup and saucers. <coughs> oh, Denby Colour Roll. Colour Roll? Yeah. Barometer and a lantern. Ooh. Barometer will go in home. Health. That's uh, the pixie set that we showed a little while ago. Nice one. Then there's two things I've left in the bag because I packed them up to put away but I forgot to take photos. <laughs> so it's a paperweight and an egg cup. And then this chicken uh, didn't have any bubble wrap. Okay, I will put that. Oh, we haven't got any bubble wrap in here at all, have we? We're no. low on B Blade. There's <clears throat> a nice little collection of stuff. Yes. So we're going to show you some more what sold now. Just some other interesting bits and pieces. A Celestial Planisphere thousand piece jigsaw. These were bought kind of brand new. They were sort of new other or used like new because the cellophane was like a little, they were a little bit old. I think I paid five pounds each for them. Uh, I had two and this is the first one to sell at £17.89. We've got the Footjoy polo shirt, the purple one, which had Woven Golf Club uh, scratch team on the sleeve. That cost £4 and sold for £16. The Glen Muir water repellent golf jumper, it was a good pickup. Cost us just £3 from a charity shop and that sold for £15. And then we have some Peter Miller Crown Sport golf trousers. They cost £8 from a charity shop and sold for £40. I remember those and we've got our cream pair as well, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Next up is Cos Cropped Trousers, size 10. They cost £2.78. They were in a pallet and they sold for £15. Uh, we sold this Insect Law Butterfly Garden. It's like a butterfly kind of catcher, sort of studier kind of thing, like a, 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 a net that you... Nature thing for kids. Yeah, and it was cross-listed from Amazon, this one, and sold on eBay 
for £16.58. I think it costs two pounds. We hope you enjoyed our latest video. If so, please let us know in the comments. Thanks ever so much for watching from me and Faye, our little Snoopy, and of course Luna. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye.